Here's another example of how to add and subtract rational expressions. We have another subtraction here. But the complexity of my examples are increasing here. Here, when you look at the denominator, you realize, when you look at the left fraction here, that you can actually factor the denominator. And sometimes that's a necessary step that you must do first because it will enable you to find the lowest common denominator much more easily that way. So let's take a look at that. Let's rewrite these two fractions and let's factor the denominator of the first fraction. So this becomes minus 7 over x plus 2. But here we realize that this is the difference of squares and the difference of squares factors as follows. This would then become x plus 2 times x minus 2 and the numerator still is 3x minus 5. So now that you've factored the left denominator, you can then see that there's some commonality between the two denominators. You have an x plus 2 here, you have an x plus 2 there, you have an x minus 2 here, but you don't have an x minus 2 there. So to make the denominators common, which is a technique you want to use to add and subtract rational expressions, you're going to need to multiply this denominator by the part that's missing here, which is x minus 2. Of course, if you do that to the denominator, you must do exactly the same to the numerator. So this then becomes 3x minus 5 over x plus 2 times x minus 2 minus 7 over x plus 2. And of course, to make them the same, we must multiply the right denominator by x minus 2. And if we do that to the denominator, we must do exactly the same thing to the numerator. Again, as a quick check, if you get rid of the x minus 2 over x minus 2, because that's of course equal to 1, that's the same as multiplying this whole thing by 1, then you get back what you started with. Now you can see that you have two common denominators. They're both the same, so we can write the whole thing over one common denominator. So this is equal to the whole thing over x plus 2 times x minus 2. And in the numerator here we have a 3x minus 5. And then we subtract from that a 7, and I'll use brackets, 7 times x minus 2. I like to use brackets like that because I don't want to make a mistake using this negative sign here. I'm first going to multiply out what's inside the brackets, so this is equal to 3x minus 5 minus 7 times x is 7x, 7 times a minus 2 is a minus 14, all divided by x plus 2 times x minus 2, and then finally I can apply the negative sign to everything that's inside the brackets, so this is equal to 3x minus 5 minus a 7x, and the negative times the negative becomes a plus 14, all divided by x plus 2 times x minus 2. Then, of course, you would want to combine like terms. We have a 3x and a minus 7x, a minus 5 and a 14, so we're going to combine those. Move over here. So 3x minus 7x is a minus 4x, and a minus 5 plus 14 is a plus 9. And divide the whole thing by x plus 2 times x minus 2. And that's the most simplified form of the subtraction that we started with. Again, we cannot uh, factor anything out, so we cannot make it any simpler than that. And that's the answer. Okay, so remember, if the denominator is factorable, go ahead and factor it first. All right, let's do a few more examples.